Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between gas metal arc welding and gas tungsten arc welding. In every arc welding process, an electric arc that is established between the conductive base plates and the electrode is used as the heat source to fuse the faying surfaces of the base metal in order to form the coalescence. There are several arc welding processes, two of them are gas metal arc welding and gas tungsten arc welding. Gas metal arc welding is one such arcade welding process where the arc is constituted between a consumable wire electrode and the conductive base plates. On the other hand, gas tungsten arc welding is another arc welding process where arc is constituted between a non-consumable electrode and the conductive base metals. So, let's look into the basic differences between gas metal arc welding and gas tungsten arc welding in a tabular form. Difference number 1 a consumable electrode is utilized in gas metal arc welding process, whereas, a non-consumable electrode is utilized in gas tungsten arc welding or tungsten inert gas welding process. Number 2, in gas metal arc welding, chemical composition of electrode metal can be varied widely, and thus a suitable composition can be selected for a particular application, whereas, in in gas tungsten arc welding, electrode is always made of tungsten with small proportion of other elements like thorium. So electrode material cannot be altered. Number 3, in gas metal arc welding, due to consumable electrode, no additional filler metal is required. The electrode itself melts down and deposits on weld bead, whereas, in gas tungsten arc welding, if required, filler metal can be supplied additionally by feeding a small diameter rod beneath the arc. Number 4, Gas metal arc welding can be performed in homogeneous or heterogeneous mode of welding. However, it cannot be performed in autogenous mode, as filler is inherent, whereas, gas tungsten arc welding is suitable for autogenous mode of welding, however, it can also be performed in other two modes. Number 5, in gas metal arc welding, either an inert gas or a mixture of inert and active gases can be used as shielding gas. Accordingly, there exist two types of gas metal arc welding processes, MIG welding and MAG welding, whereas, an inert shielding gas like argon, helium is always used in gas tungsten arc welding or TIG welding. Number 6, gas metal arc welding can be performed in AC polarity or DCEP polarity, preferred for high deposition rate, whereas, DCEP is not used as it reduces longevity of non-consumable electrode. Either AC or DCEN polarity is employed in gas tungsten arc welding. Number 7, in majority of the cases, gas metal arc welding produces spatter that leads to filler metal loss, whereas, TIG welding is mostly free from spatter. Mild spatter may arise if separate filler is supplied. Number 8, in gas metal arc welding, due to continuous feeding of the electrode, filler deposition rate is very high. So it is highly productive, especially when large root gap is required to fill, whereas, gas tungsten arc welding process cannot deposit filler metal at higher rate, if filler is applied. It is not very productive in that sense. Number 9, gas metal arc welding process is prone to welding defects. Welding quality and weld bead appearance are also not very good, whereas, if carried out properly, TIG welding mostly produces defect-free joints. The welding quality and appearance both are magnificent. And, difference number 10, no risk of tungsten inclusion defect exist in gas metal arc welding, whereas, owing to presence of tungsten electrode, gas tungsten arc welding may lead to undesirable tungsten inclusion defect. 